Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is day 3 of Book Week and I'm kind of like a green shirt. It's more teal, I think, but let's just go with it. <laughs> because today we'll be talking about books that sits in the forest. But not just any forest. Let's get going. And unfortunately, there's not too much about these sets and forest type of book. Um, like it is only day three, so by the time you see this video, I'll probably keep adding more books to this video as I search, but um, let's see what they have. Now, my first book is In Wait in the Forest by Josh Mailerman. Some chilly campfire tales link too true to ignore. For one young woman, an urban legend calls her into the woods in a spine telling short story. The dense Michigan forest, haunting rails, the cliff club of demon hooves, and a bridge to nowhere. It's more than a tale to Brenda Jennings, her sister disappeared in those woods one fateful night. Three years later, on a solo stakeout, disappeared. On a solo stakeout, in the dark, Brenda goes in after her. She sets before answers and terrified to find what lies waiting on the other side of that bridge. Are they talking about the Goatman Bridge? I'm not sure when that one actually takes place, but if that's the one in Michigan, then... She's in for a wild ride. <laughs> My next book is One More Lost by Natalie D. Richards. Damaged, deceptive, dangerous, daring. And the labels are warning, the answer will cost Santa everything. Murder, justice, and revenge was so not a part of the plan when Santa set out on her senior camping trip. After all, hiking through the woods is supposed to be safe and uneventful. Then one morning, the group wakes up groggy, confused with one squall on the wrist. Damaged, deceptive, dangerous, and daring. Their surprise, destroyed. Half the group, gone. Their chaperone, unconscious. Worst of all, they found four dolls acting out and murdered. Dolls dressed just like them. Suddenly, it's clear they're being hunted, and with only parts of the wood on her wrist, Sarah falls under suspicion. I wonder if you should go like possessed or something. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't really fit in with the forest vibe, but it does surround a forest, so it is then a lake by Darcy Coates. I have read one of her books. I think it's like a cabin in the woods or something like that. It's like a wintery blue book. But um, keep the door locked. A week's visit to the remote heart of polite cabin couldn't have come at a better time for Sam. She's battling artist block ahead of a majority major gallery exhibition. Staying in Hardenborough the Lake is her final desperate attempt to paint a collection that could save her flowering career. It seems perfect. No neighbors, no phone, no distractions. But the dream retreat in the desert degenerates into a nightmare when Sam discovers she's being stalked. A tall, strange man now stands on the edge of her dock, staring intently into the swirling waters below. He starts to follow her. He the same as a car, he destroys the only way to communicate with the outside world. And Sam is beginning to suspect he is responsible for the series of disappearances from a nearby hiking trail. Stranded at Hannibal Lake, Sam realizes she has become the play in the hunter's deadliest game. And my last book is The Ritual by Adam L. G. Neville. Four old university friends reunite for a hiking trip in the Scandinavian wilderness of the Arctic Circle. No longer young men, they have little left in common and tension rise as they struggle to connect. Frustrated and tired, they think a shortcut that turns the hike into a nightmare that could cost them their lives. Lost, hungry, and surrounded by a forest untouched for millennia, they stumble across an isolated old house. Inside, they find the Makamba remains of old rites and pagan sacrifices, ancient artifacts, and unidentifiable bones. This place of a dark ritual is home to a bestial predator that is still alive in the ancient forest and now there in the play. As the four friends struggle for salvation, they discover that death doesn't come easy for these for among these ancient trees. So those are all the books that could set in the forest. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite or if you have any books that sets in the forest and please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post for my next big career and I will see you tomorrow for another day. <laughs> Bye!